This is Glasgow Cathedral, also known as St Mungo's Cathedral. His real name was Kentigern. Mungo was a nickname which meant dear one. He came here some one and a half thousand years ago and built the first church on the site, by the banks of the Mollendiner Burn, which still runs under the roadway beside the necropolis. What did you know? What could you see by Mollendiner side? To travel far with only faith to This is the lower church, or the crypt, of Glasgow Cathedral. It's the oldest part of the building. The rest of the church is built above. These pillars are holding the rest of the cathedral up. It's the most important part of the church as well, because this is where the Holy of Holies is located, St Mungo's tomb itself. St Mungo was one of the most important medieval saints there were. People came from all over the country, from far and wide, to come to this spot to pray to St Mungo to help them. And this is why Glasgow Cathedral is so big. You see, when they started building this place, Glasgow itself was quite tiny by modern standards. There was only a couple of thousand people here. You don't need a church for that. But if you've got thousands of pilgrims coming here every single day to come to this very spot to see St Mungo's tomb, you're going to need a big building. And they don't come much bigger than this. Faith recall, though centuries have come and gone, your spirit with us still. What did you know? What could you see by Marlin Diner's side? I wonder how many people in Glasgow appreciate as it seems to me, it seems to us, ought to appreciate this magnificent building and this undercroft or this lower church where his tomb is located, which is one of the finest churches of any cathedral throughout the whole of Europe. And of course the building is, is constructed on a slope uh, to presumably draw attention down towards the banks of the Molendiner where the saint did his baptisms. Uh, an extraordinary feat of architecture. One of the most interesting parts of the lower church is tucked away here in the deepest, farthest corner of the crypt. And it's probably the oldest part of the building. It's St Mungo's Well. The life of Mungo tells how when he first came here, he built his first rough hut beside a spring that was coming naturally out of the ground. And when they built the cathedral hundreds of years later, they incorporated that spring into the fabric. So if you stand here, you could be standing in the very same spot that St Mungo stood one and a half thousand years ago and started all of this. To travel far with only faith to spread the gospel wide.